One of the things I love about carnivorous plants is just how effective they are at luring and trapping all sorts of insects found around the home. If you're like me, you're probably growing your carnivorous plants outside. One of the things I love watching are houseflies falling into all those pitches. Well, in this next video, I'm going to be demonstrating the lengths that insects will go to get access to that precious nectar found on carnivorous plants. My name is Jerry from Succulent Fly Traps. Well, today as I was watering my plants this morning, I noticed something very, very interesting. I noticed a fresh trail of black ants, just as you're seeing right here. So that in itself probably isn't very interesting. What is interesting is the fact that these ants appeared out of nowhere. They weren't here yesterday, so they must have started their trial late last night or early this morning. I'm just going back to the source of where they're coming from. They seem to be coming from around this drainage pipe here. Me being a nerd when it comes to insects and creepy crawlies, I had to find out where they were going. What I find amazing with ants is that they use chemical trails that they leave on the ground to guide all the other ants following them. You end up as a result with this amazing ant trail. So let's just go along here. So what I did, I just moved along as I'm doing here. And they seem to be coming up around near the drainage pipe. They come up along here. And then all of a sudden they just branch off over here. So let's just move along here. And this is the part which I found absolutely fascinating. What's happened here is that one or two of my pitches have fallen over in a slight breeze. As a result, the pitches have touched the brick wall. What's happened is that a couple of those scout ants have found this pitcher with its source of nectar. That scout ant has then gone back to its colony to communicate to all the other ants that, yep, I found this source of food. As a result, all these other ants have come out just to feed off this rich picking as you're seeing right here. So here I am at the very same ant trail that I was videoing a couple of days earlier. And I'm glad to say there's been a definite reduction in their numbers. Here's another one over here. And there's another one over here as well. But a big change in their numbers compared to when I first started videoing this ant trail. Now the pictures are still touching the house bricks, acting like a bridge to the rest of my plants. As I was watering my plants earlier this morning, I did notice there were ants scurrying around those pitches, so I know that some of them must be falling in. So that's what I love about carnivorous plants. They provide a completely organic, a more friendlier way of controlling pests around your home. Of course, I could have used pesticides, but that would have obliterated the queen, and I wouldn't want that to happen. After all, ants do provide a vital role in the environment by cleaning up dead, dying or sick insects and they themselves control insect numbers as well. Yeah, an organic pest control system in action.